What's up everyone and welcome to the club. It's Sketch Sunday. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've been blown away with all these drawings that you guys have been sending in. Even the most difficult sketch tutorials that I've been posting on Saturdays, I can't even tell the difference between my drawings and yours. Now if you're struggling with some of these sketch tutorials, I'm glad you're here today because we're gonna be showing you step by step on how to sketch Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. Now there's no secret to drawing, the only thing you need to do is keep practicing. Now the first thing we want to do is sketch a line down the center of the page using the side edge of our pencil. So using a side grip, we start at the very top and just lightly sketch that line coming all the way down the middle. Now I want to remind you that sketch drawing is a lot different than contour drawing that I do during the week. Now the trick is to always stay loose and not be restricted to the lines that you create. And then we'll add another guideline going from left to right across the middle. Starting from the left, go straight across towards the center and then back over towards the right. Now we want to mark off the center point of the eyes. Now the wider we go, the larger our drawing is going to get. So we're just going to pull this into right about here. Draw a little cross hair along that line. We want to take that same distance over on the right. Now using that center point as our guide, we're going to sketch a long oval going all the way around. Starting from the top, go all the way down towards the bottom. Round this out and then go back up towards the top. You want to make sure that the iris is equal on the top and bottom. Let's do the same thing over on the right. So I'm going to line this up, come down towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now if you need to, you can always create a guideline from left to right, just to make sure that they're lined up on the top and bottom. Let's add a line going across the bottom of the eye on the left and right side. And then we'll connect the ends of the large half oval going up above the iris. We'll start on the left side, go all the way out, up towards the top. It's going to round this out and come down on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Again, you can add a guideline just to line up the top of the eye. Starting on the inside, we'll go all the way around towards the top then back down on the outside. Now we're going to move to the center and sketch in a small circle for the nose. Now we're going to move down and draw a line going across for the mouth. Now we're going to extend this out towards the side because the mouth is going to line up with the jaw. All the way across towards the sides. Now we're gonna move out to the side and draw two straight lines coming down the side of the head. Let's start with the left. Start up here, go straight down. I'm gonna pull this all the way down towards the bottom of our page and go all the way up towards the top. Let's take that same distance over on the right side. So starting here, pull this all the way down and then back up. Now we're gonna define the mouth. We're gonna start back on the left side. We're gonna step up, it's gonna curve down in the middle back up on the right side. Now we're going to extend this line going across the top of the eyes up towards the line on the sides. This is going to be the guide for the top edge of the hat. Now going back to the left side, we're going to curve the hat. We're going to go up in the middle and then pull that down on the right. Now from the end of the hat, we're going to angle the side of the head coming in towards the jaw. So let's start up here, draw a straight angle line Coming down and in, and do the same thing on the right. And then from the jaw, we're going to curve down and in towards the center. Let's start on the left. Bend that down, and then in, and go to the right, and do the same thing. Now I'm going to curl up the side of the hat, starting on the left, curve out and then up towards the side. Do the same thing on the right. Now you can add as many guidelines as you need. So you can go back over towards the left and draw a straight line going across. Now we're going to connect the ends with that same curve. Going up in the middle and then back down. Let's add the hair coming down the center of the forehead. Starting over on the left from that center line, start with a curve, coming down and out towards the eye. I'm just going to taper that back up and in. 
I'm going to come down and then bend that back out. Then from here, we're just going to curve out towards the right and then tuck that up underneath the hat. Let's add another guideline along the inside edge of the eye. We're going to go all the way up towards the edge of the hat and then come down towards the bottom of our page. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up and then all the way down. Now this is going to help us line up the outside edge of the neck. Now from that inside point, we're going to draw the eyebrow, curving out and up. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll thicken up the eyebrows, starting back on the inside. We're just going to taper this so it gets wider as we go up underneath the hat. Now we're going to work our way up towards the top of the hat, starting from the corner of the brim. Draw a short line going out on the left and right side. And we'll draw a straight line going up to right about there. Let's close off the top of the hat. We're going to start back on the left side. We're going to curve up in the middle and then bring that down on the right. I'm going to make sure that these points are lined up. Let's add another trim going across over the hat brim, starting on the left, curve up and in, and then back down. And then we're going to add a half circle in the center of the hat. Let's start back over on the left side, curve up in the middle, and then down. And we'll add a smaller half circle in the middle. Let's move back down and draw on the ears. From this point, we're gonna angle up and out towards the left. Do the same thing on the right, from the side of the head. And then from the end, we're gonna curve down, and then bend that in towards the side of the head for the outside edge of the ear. And we'll go back to the inside and just draw a curve, going out and then hooking that back in. Now we're going to move to the outside and draw in the hair. Let's start from the corner of the hat. Start by curving out and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's taper that back in. Curving up and in in the short line. Do the same thing on the right. And then from here, we're going to curve out and down towards that center line. Bring that up to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll try to match the distance between the ear and the side of the hair on both sides. And from here, we're going to curve down and in towards the ear. Right into right about there. The same thing on the right. And we'll add another point curving out and up with a short line. And then on the left side, we're going to curve this down and in towards the jaw. Now we're going to do the same thing over on the right side, but we're going to leave a gap towards the jaw. We're at another point, coming down and out, just bending that out. Curve that back in. And one more point, coming down and then up underneath the head. Now we want to locate the top edge of the shoulders. So from the chin, we're going to step down and draw a straight line going across. And then these lines along the side are basically the side of the neck. So we're going to come down and we'll just bend that out toward that shoulder line on both sides. And we'll block in that collar going around the neck, starting on the left side. We're going to start by curving down underneath the chin and then back up on the right side. And then from the ends, we're going to curve up and in behind the head. So it looks like the collar is wrapped around the neck. From the side of the collar, we're going to draw a short angle line coming down and in towards the shoulder. And then from here, we're just going to angle down and out towards the side of the body. And we'll draw the inside edge of the collar. Right where the neck meets the collar, we're going to step out, curve in, and then down toward that center line. We'll do the same thing on the right. We're also going to add a curve for the shirt collar, starting from the left, curve down, and then back up. Let's close off the side of the shoulder. Starting on the left, we're going to curve out and then down. 
Now that we've blocked out our character, I'm going to go back in with my eraser and take out some of these initial guidelines. Once we're happy with the balance of our drawing, I'm going to go in and start tightening up these lines around our drawing. Now I'm going to leave a piece of paper underneath my hand to prevent any smudging. Let's start with the upper eyelid. Starting on the outside, curve up towards the top, and just pull that down on the inside. I want to thicken up the eyelid. I'm just going to taper this so it gets thicker along the top. I'm just going to fill that in. Just work our way along the inside. We'll do the same thing on the right. We're also going to thicken up the lower eyelid with a slight curve coming down and up. And just thicken up the center area. I'm going and just work around the contour of the iris. And then we're going to add a small oval in the center of the eye and fill that in. Now we're going to add a highlight along the top of each iris. So starting on the left, we're just going to curve down and then back up. Do the same thing on the right. And then we're going to add a gradient along the inside. So we're going to start off darker and then blend out as we get towards the bottom. Using the side edge of our pencil. Start off with a dark shade along the top. And as we come down halfway, we're just going to blend that out. Now we're just going to darken up the left side of the nose, starting from the top and the center. It's going to curve out towards the left and then back in. We're just going to thicken that up along the middle and then taper that out along the bottom. And then we'll lightly shade the right side of that circle. Let's move down and tighten up the mouth. Move down and back up. Now 
Now we're going to continue refining the outside contour of our drawing. We're going to fill in the eyebrows as well. Let's add a slight bend along the side of the hat going up towards the top. We're also going to add a light shade around the top of the hat. And then we're going to continue working around the side of the head. Going back towards the outside, I'm going to fold these curves going across the outside perimeter of the hair. And then working our way back in towards the jaw. Now using the flat edge of my pencil, I'm going to go ahead and darken up the hair.
Now we're gonna move down and trace the contours of the body, starting with the neck. Just gonna pull that in behind the collar. And we'll wrap the collar around the neck, starting from the outside. Now we're going to add a little bit more detail to the jacket, starting from the base of the collar. I'm just going to curve down and in towards the inside. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. And then we'll add a stripe along the outside of the shoulders. Stepping down, a straight angle line going out, curving out towards the side. And we'll go in and lightly shade the jacket. And we're going to add a darker shade for the inside of the shirt. Now we're going to go back up and add a light skin tone shade across the face going around the eyes. Let's start with the ears. Just going to work our way in. across the top of the forehead. We're eventually going to add a drop shadow coming down from the hat over the forehead. So we're going to add a light shade going across first. We also don't want to forget the neck, doing the same thing across here. And then that hat brim is going to cast a shadow across the top of the forehead. So let's start on the left side. We're going to sketch a line coming down, in behind the eyes, curve down in between and up, and then go all the way out towards the right side. Now we're going to darken that shade along the center. Let's we'll start back on the left, using the side of our pencil. We don't want to go too dark. We don't want to go as dark as the hair, so we're just going to lightly shade this in. Let's add a shadow just along the top of each ear. Starting off dark, we're just gonna fade this out as we come down. Now the head's gonna cast a shadow across the neck. So starting on the left, curve down and then up. And just like we did with the forehead, we're gonna darken that up along the top. Now you can see that the shadow of the neck is almost the same value as the inside of the collar. So let's darken up the inside of the collar. This will help pull the neck forward.
And as you get closer to the end, I'm gonna fix some of the tonal balances, add some detail, and a drop shadow over on the right side of the head. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.